Yes, I didn't interview with them, but I have participated. And I had an All India rank of around 16 in the first round. Hi everyone, uh, this is Trevor here. So today we are going to talk about TCS Code Vita. Yes, TCS is not a dream company for many of them, but then it's a good company to have a backup with. Why? Because given the pandemic that is happening around, I think no one in this world knows what is going to happen next, which companies will be hiring and which companies will be firing. It is really uncertain to all of us. So what is TCS Code Vita? A TCS Code Vita is an annual coding competition that is organized by TCS itself from where they hire young talents. Now they have two categories to hire. One is uh, they hire for the 3.2 lakh category and the other one is the TCS Digital which gives you a 7 lakh offer. Now 7 lakh is a really good offer if you are from tier 3 college to start off with. So how can you get this 7 lakh offer? So to register for this annual coding competition that is the TCS Code Vita. So after that you will get a link for the contest which is a 6 hours contest. Now remember one thing you will have one day window where you can participate for 6 hours. Now. Among the six questions, how many do you need to solve to land up with an interview at TCS? Now, if you are able to solve one question, you are assured of an interview call from TCS Code Vita. This has been happening from the last four to five years that if you solve one question, you'll definitely get an interview call from TCS Code Vita. Now, what about the other package that is the TCS Digital? Now, how many questions do you need to solve for that? I'll come to that, but later in the video. Now, let's talk about the preparation strategy for the coding contest. Now there will be six questions, right? So one question will surely be from number theory. So if you want to know what you need to study for number theory, you can go to this video and watch the number theory topics that you need to cover up. Once you are done with that, you will be sure enough of covering one question. So the second question might be of a brute force which actually uses a lot of C++ STL. So again, you need to know about the C++ STL or Java collections. Now if you are a C++ user and you do not know C++ STL in depth, I recommend you to watch this video and get your C++ concepts clear. Now when it comes to the third question, it might be a copy of a standard algorithm. So I will highly recommend you that you should be very good with your searching capabilities. So make sure you search the question at Geeks or Geeks or somewhere to get the hint about that question if you do not know about that algorithm and then you can solve that question. I think three questions are more than enough to get through a digital offer. But solving any number more than three might land you in trouble when you go to the interview. Regarding the fourth, fifth and sixth question, it will be of dynamic programming, graphs and probably a number theory question. So that is why I will recommend you to solve two or three questions and that should be good enough to get a digital offer given that you clear the interview that I will be talking in the later half. Now there is something I want to add. Now when you are participating in this coding round, let's say you have taken a snippet of code from geeks for geeks or something. Make sure you change it. Even if you give the reference that I have taken this code from GFG, Code Vita considers it as a plagiarism. And once you are removed for plagiarism, Code Vita will never take action. Despite your tweets, connection, mails, they will not reconsider you once they have disqualified you. And I have seen in the past years that a lot of people got disqualified just because they copied a GCD code from Geeks for Geeks or somewhere. Make sure you change it. Write the function in different ways, put in some codes, but make sure you change it. It might happen you get a question which is a very standard question at Geeks for Geeks. You might think that okay, copying this algorithm is very common. It is not. You will be disqualified, I can assure you that. Because there are a lot of people who participate. And it might happen that both of your codes might match and you end up in getting disqualified. Now since code beta is so strict on plagiarism, make sure you do not share your code. Make sure even if you copy the code, change the code as much as you can. So this was about TCS Code Vita preparation. Now, how do you land up a digital offer in TCS Code Vita? Now remember one thing, if you are solving one question, there is a very very rare chance that you will land up with an offer of digital. But there is a higher chance that you land up with a 3.2 LP offer. So after one month, what happens is Code Vita shouts out your mail that you have qualified for round 2. Now that eventually means that you will be called for interview. Now you have to wait for 2 months, you will get an interview call. Now I don't know how will they conduct interview this year, probably it will be online but I am talking about the previous process. It will be same but it will be conducted online. So yes, so you go to that interview and make sure you wear formals because they are very strict on that and make sure you carry all your certificates. 
they verify all your certificates if you have backlogs you don't stand a chance to bag an offer so when you get to that interview room for your round one make sure you are prepared with your intro because that is the first thing they will ask in the next phase they will have the print out of the code that you would have submitted for the problem that you solved in code vita so they will ask you to write the code and explain it so whenever you are participating in code vita have the copy of the code that you submitted now in the interview round explain the code by each and every line now given that you have solved two or three problems they might ask you that which problem you like the most and they will ask you to explain that so this is how the first round of interview will go now if you would have solved two or more than two they will consider you for the next round given that the first round really went well otherwise they'll ask you to leave now leave doesn't means that you are disqualified now after 30 or 40 days they'll inform you that whether you are selected for that 3.2 lakh offer or not now if you are asked to stay back you'll have your round 2 so in the round 2 of the interview they'll scan through your resume now if your resume gives an impression that you are a good programmer so they will start asking by questions like define bst probably they'll ask you what is a graph what is a tree yes they'll not ask any tougher algorithm questions they might ask you some sorting algorithms but not the tougher level ones so make sure you prepare all your basic stuffs if you are good at programming now what if you are not good at programming and your resume is filled up with projects now the digital round of interview is biased towards candidates who have done machine learning projects so if you have a ml project there is a high probability of you landing the offer so as the round goes on they'll ask you about the projects in deep and if they are impressed they'll offer you a digital role now again this role will not be offered on the spot after that round of interview they'll ask you to leave and probably after 30 to 45 days you'll get a confirmation if you have got a digital offer or not even if you're not selected for the digital offer then also you'll get that 3.2 offer why because you have appeared for that digital round that actually gives you a confirmation that you got that 3.2 offer So yes this was all about the video where we discussed about TCS code beta about the interview process and how it happens so yes i didn't want to make this video but given the covid pandemic that is going around i think it's better that you have a backup offer with you because i have a lot of friends whose offers got rescinded and they do not have a backup offer so it really hurts if something like this happens when you are graduated imagine yourself without an offer So that is why you should participate in code beta and probably aim for that digital offer because 7 LPA is also not bad if you are from a tier 3 college. So if you have watched the video till now, make sure you like the video before you leave. And yes, if you are new to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button.